गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन इन ऑनलाइन क्लास आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फॉर्म्स ऑफ वाटर देन देर आर थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ वाटर वी नो फर्स्ट इज लिक्विड एंड लिक्विड मीन्स वाटर तो एट द नॉर्मल रूम टेम्परेचर वाटर विल बी इन द लिक्विड फॉर्म एंड देन नंबर टू नेक्स्ट इज सॉलिड सॉलिड मीन्स आइस और स्नो इट मीन्स एट द जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दिस वॉटर विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द आइस और स्नो एंड थर्ड इज द गैसियस फॉर्म गैसियस फॉर्म मीन्स द वॉटर विल इवोपरेट और वी कैन से इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द वेपर देन एट द हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड द वॉटर विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द वेपर्स राइट देन जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट of water and 100 degree centigrade is the uh is the boiling point of the water right okay now we all know about that the terms three terms are there first is evaporation evaporation is evaporation is the conversion of the water into the vapor second is called condensation condensation is condensation condensation is a uh conversion of the water vapors into the liquid hai na vapors into the liquid is called condensation right then uh, uh water uh, changes to water vapor at all temperatures right this is called evaporation but at very high temperature the change happens quickly and when water boils at the 100 degree centigrade the uh, changes rapid therefore this is a difference between the evaporation and boiling right when a steam is cooled then water is formed this is called condensation okay now next is most towns and cities we have all, uh, also uh, finished this uh, this activity hai na this one activity we have finished now we are moving ahead most towns and cities have the water supply system maintained by the civic bodies civic bodies means what's the meaning of the civic body civic body means uh, municipal corporation right nagar palika vagera jo hote hain and the water is drawn from the nearby lake river and ponds and well then this is supplied through the network of the pipeline right but in the villages what happen in the villages the, there is no uh, proper system some uh, at some places it may be there but it do not have such uh, a water supply system most of them do not have their people fetch water directly from the sources and often people and the even children have to walk several kilometers to fetch the water and the children suffer a lot they cannot attend school regularly since the they spend uh hours in fetching the water in this picture you can see hena these ladies are going to fetch the water uh, from uh, maybe this distance maybe of uh, several kilometers hena okay now the question is that okay this is not the question and now uh, bujo is saying women have to perform a number of the household chores and if they have uh, also to spend time to fetch the water it adds to their burden obviously it will be a burden if it will be a supply proper supply water pipelines will be there and uh, the water is uh, properly that is uh, circulated to their uh, homes or houses then obviously wo nahi jayenge itni dur lene ke liye unka time bhi kharab nahi hoga theek hai a large number of the people draw the water from the well yes water is taken out from the well tube wells with the help of the tube wells and hand pumps uh, from where do these sources uh these sources get water okay now it means well tube well and hand pumps these all uh take out the water from the ground hai na now uh we are talking about the ground water ki ground water table how ground ground water table fills right okay then see ground water as an important source of the water okay uh, uh dekho uh rain water that penetrate through the soil gets collected over the rocky beds present uh, a figure is also there now see this figure hai na now see uh, the rain uh, the soil gets uh, rain through the soil gets collected over the rocky bed present underground uh, to form a reservoir that is called the ground water hai na this all is called the ground water hai na you can see here 
this is the water table ground water hmm, or the underground water and the process of seeping of the water under the ground is called infiltration you know the water which is uh, going inside the soil this process is called infiltration right this is called infiltration hmm. uh, this reservoir formed above the impervious layer of the rock or the clay is termed as aquifer this one you know after that the impervious rocks are there the now water will not go down this is called the aquifer that is written here this is called the aquifer the area uh, where water fills the aquifer is called the saturated area or the zone of saturation right the upper layer of this zone forms the water table as you can say here you can see here this is the water table right uh, water table may be deep or shallow or may rise or fall depending on many factors as you can see here this is uh, deep in, com in comparison to the the surface you know? here it is uh, forming the lake water is also coming out you know making a, a lake here and here the water table is very deep so it depends on the um, uh, depends on many factors and the it also depend on the places as we know as we are on the himalayan region and the mountains then in the mountain the water surface table water table uh, it mostly deep hoti hai, hai na? and if we are talking about the plains so in some uh, areas of the plains the water table is too much uh near the ground right then the heavy rains and the melting snow may cause the water table to rise while heavy pumping you know if we are doing too much of the pumping of the ground water supply then may cause the water table to fall right underground water uh, uh um, underground uh, water surfaces in the form of the spring and wells you know as uh, here you can see stream is also there and in the picture it is uh, shown here in bales and uh, boring is also done till the water table is uh, up to water table hai na? Uh, till the water table is reached dekho yahan tak inhone boring kari hai now the water is pump out uh, in from tube bales or hand pumps right okay then uh, sometime the water level in the water table uh, on the two sides is higher than the middle one as the water uh, seeks its own label the water rises and uh, forces itself out to the earth surface this form of the well called the artesian well it is called the artesian well right okay spring from uh, um, springs uh, are formed when the ground water finds an outlet in a porous rock you know then what will happen a spring will be formed right okay now see what else there okay told you about the aquifer okay uh, have you ever been to the site where the construction work is going on from where do the workers get the water for the construction maybe you have seen boring being done at such a sites to reach the water table and then the water is taken out you know and uh, construction is done from that water in the agricultural field also we know uh, pumps are there there are um kya kehte hain usko tube wells are there with the help of the tube well or electric pump the water is taken out from the water table hai na yet the another these are the some factor which uh, are the uh, factor uh, of the um, decrease of the water table hai na and some another factors which are affecting water table could be deforestation and decrease in the effective areas for the sweeping of the water you know if construction is too much you know roads are there buildings are there then obviously in that particular area the water table will go down because there is no uh, plain area so that the water can be seep inside the uh, ground or we can say there is uh, less area for the infiltration of the water getting uh, any problem in it Okay. Okay. Then this is enough for today. Then next we will continue later. Bye and have a nice day.